guys hope you're doing great our today's question is group anagrams given an array of strings group anagrams together all right so the input is for example eat t tan eat nat bat so the output has to be three different lists which are groups of anagrams so anagrams is um, two words are anagrams of each other if they are formed with the same alphabets or characters and in the same number right so for example here this is these all these three words are formed of e a and t uh, these are formed of n a t and this is this has no anagram in the given array so that's why it just forms one array that is just itself right all inputs will be in lower case the order of your output does not matter okay so let's have a look at the possible options we can use. This is a unsorted array, right? So what are the possible approaches we can take to solve this question? Okay, so please pause the video, have a look and come back. So I think this is the very first option should fit in here because we have to group the members of or elements of the array into the specified uh, requirement which is like anagrams should be grouped together and we might obviously need to use a, a collection to be able to identify which one of them is an anagram of the other one so using this approach we'll get started so the approach that we should take is to, to basically create a representation right because we know that there could be multiple strings which are anagrams of each other for example eight eat and t right so what we need to do is we need to form a representation of each of the string which is unique to its anagram right so the ordering should not matter correct uh, because otherwise it will not match the other string right um, so one good way of doing it is that since we know that it contains lowercase alphabets and uh, which are just 26, what we can do is we create a string representation where we count the number of occurrences of each alphabet, right? So for example, for eat, it would be something like this. So there is one A, right? So an A comes first, so one, okay? After that, just separate it with something, for example, a hash, okay? Um, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Okay. So like a hash. Okay. Um, after that, there is no B. So zero hash. There's no C. So zero hash. Okay. Now there is an E, right? So or there, there's no D, whatever are the alphabets between them. We just uh, place zero if they are not there in the string. And then whenever we have E, at that point, we place one again because there's one E, then hash and so on and then when we have t we place one hash and then zero hash zero hash up till z okay so if we create a similar representation of t it would be the same right because we'll we'll see t first right and we will uh, place this at the same position where t should occur Right? and similarly for E and A. So how we do that will be clear with the solution as we go forward. We'll have to create a count first. So we'll have to count them first so that we get it in the required order. And then we just create a string representation of those counts. So I, I, I just hope it will get more clear as we start implementing the solution. Okay. Fine. So first of all, um, what we need to return here is a list of list of strings, right? So which is um, so it can be represented as an array list. So let's just create a list of list string, okay? And this is a result equals to new array list <clears throat> of list of strings 
Okay, this is our result. Now, um, if, um, as always, our base case is if there is nothing in this, then we just return result. Okay, that's also blank. Now, after that, as, as I was saying, we need to count the number the the number of occurrences of each character. So what we'll be doing is that we will be iterating through all the strings of str's array. And for each, we'll be creating a string representation after we're done with creating a count array representation of it. So let's start. So this is str of strings, okay? And uh, <clears throat> we'll create a count array which will be of length 26, okay? Because there are 26 alphabets. Hmm. Okay, right. So now, um, Mm -hmm. Okay, we just need to traverse through the string, right? So it should be less than the length of the string and plus plus. Okay. Now for this character, right, what we do is that, okay, so um, as a character, right, if you talk about the ASCII values, so if you subtract the a character, right? So basically, if we do this, right, at i. So whatever is the is this character, and if we subtract the character a from it, it basically works on the ASCII values. It converts this into the ASCII values, and whatever will be the remainder would be in between zero to twenty six, right? So we just do this. So for example, for A, it is zero, and that's what we want, right? We want count of zero to tell us the number of A's present in the string. And that's what we're doing here. And similarly, um, B minus A would give us one, C minus A would give us two, and Z minus A would give us 25. Yeah, okay. So, um, cool. So we just increment this count. And after we are done, what we do is that now we create a string representation of this, okay? So let's create a string builder. String builder, okay? Now, we know that this is an integer array. So we'll just get the count from counts count array right and all we have to do is we have to append the count okay and then we have to also append some delimiter so let's we decided for a hash yeah okay and now the representation would be this okay now we have the representation so now we need to check if any other string has this representation if yes then we want to group them together in in a list already which we can basically reuse to form our output right so what we need to do here is that because this will be kind of a key, so we need a hash map. So what we'll do is create a hash map first here, which will be string comma a list of strings. Okay. Okay. And now what we'll do is that we'll have to check, right? So we check if this contains this representation as a key already. So if the hash map contains key re representation, right? 
then we extract okay what have i done sorry yeah so we extract the array list corresponding to this because we want to add this this particular string to that list right because it already has an anagram so what we do is that we just get that list Mm, let's call that it. anagrams and we just say dot get this okay and then we add to it the string right this string that we are working in this particular for loop so we add this string because its representation is present here and uh, it's a part of this list and then we put this back okay so this and the. So we have basically extracted the list, updated it with the current string and then put it back. Okay. Otherwise, we have to create a new list, right? So there is no other string we, we have encountered as of now, which has this anagram. So we just create a new array list of string. Okay. Okay. Hmm. And then we add it. It's the same. And again, put the representation and the list. Okay. So once we are done with this, um, yeah. So once we are done with this, next we have to convert this into a list of lists because that's what our uh, function expects us to return. So what we'll do is that we have already created result here, right? And that's what we'll be updating. So for, um, okay, let's, we'll be having, um, it will be a list of string. Okay. Um, let's call it this. And we need to iterate all the values, right? We don't care about the representations anymore. So all we have to do is dot add. And then return this. Okay. Fine. Let's try running it. That's quite slow. Okay. I'll just try to refresh it. Okay, so in the meanwhile, the time complexity for this solution would be O of nk because we are traversing through all the strings, right? Um, and at the same time, uh, k would be the length of the longest string in this uh, whole 
given array and that would be the space complexity as well because that is the maximum amount of data that we are storing in hash map okay so this succeeded let's try submitting it yeah it works all right so hope you guys uh, find this video helpful if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding and take care guys